Hello and welcome back everybody to another episode of Terraformer Craft. We're going to uh, do some cooking today to start off with. Um, so let's get straight into it. Right, so to start off with we're going to throw three sticks on the ground and then use the fire starter. You can use a piece of straw to make this easier, increasing the chance of creating fire. We need to create another fire starter apparently. Then once we've got this fire pit, we're going to cook up some of our food, our venison. Now this helps preserve the food, um, but it also affects the taste. Now each each player mod each player has will have their own taste preference based on the seed of the world and their username. So we to see what your tastes are of a food, you can hold down left control and here we can see it's not to our sweetness liking, not to our apparently rare is to our sourness liking. Going to see if any of the other ones are, are to our liking as well because it's different for each um, duration of cooking. So we're now on medium. See when we get to uh, well done. So well done is is um, the top um, layer. All food cooking states have an equal. 0 0.5 times modifier, uh, sorry, 0 0.75 times modifier for decay. So we're going to be cooking up a lot of our food, um, especially the meat because the meat decays very quickly. And as our taste was equal for all of them, we are going to take them out as rare so it requires the least amount of fuel, still gives us that taste, which gives you saturation. Um, and still applies the decay modifier. I'll be back when all of our food has been cooked. Right, so the next thing we're going to do is using a knife. You can right click on any stone surface or wooden surface to create a food prep area. I had some bowls in my inventory so it automatically put them in here. Now this can be used to create sandwiches and salads. Now, as we don't have any bread yet because we haven't uh, got any corns yet to grind up our our grains into flour, we'll be we're going to make some salads with some of this meat. Um, cooked up some beans, almost burnt those actually, um, whilst fighting a spider. Um, cooked some potato. Um, we're going to, actually we're going to not, we're going to use the food that we haven't cooked as that will keep for less time. So we want to use that up first. So we're going to create ourselves a salad. Now this is a mostly vegetable salad, <laughs> um, but we don't really have anything other than vegetables. This is one of the spiders that I was just talking about. Be right back. Okay guys, um, I just wanted to add that um, the 75% modifier by cooking food also stacks with the 50% modifier of ceramic vessels um, but now that we've got some salads um, just gonna grab some more water we're going to head off um, and find some copper now you need copper for your f beginning beginning tools and for uh, tier 2 tools as well um, to create all the three different types of bronzes. Now, we've been searching in this area over here, which as you can see is granite. In fact, this entire area all the way up here 
everywhere where we've been it's all granite till you get to here you can see there's a color change in the rock type now this area down here and for some way is limestone now the problem we've had is that copper doesn't generate in granite it but it does generate in limestone so we're going to go see um, if we can find some copper um, to get our first set of proper tools seemingly we've had some zombies die here in the night um, yeah so we're going to go exploring and see if we can come back with some copper but first of all the keen-eyed among you will see that we have got some crops ready to harvest so we'll be collecting these first having just harvested these crops I realized that we had unlocked the nutrient type knowledge of the seeds that we have that's because we have reached expert level in agriculture also I was wrong last time in saying that the metal ho uh, the copper hoe you couldn't see the nutrient type we were just not a high enough level now that we have this information we can see which plots of soil have which nutrients this shows us that this red one is A, middle orange one is B, and this last uh, yellow one is C. That's also shown on the tooltips of the seeds now. And we can use this information to plant the seeds in places where there is the available nutrient. So as you can see, see in this plot here, we the C nutrient is more depleted than the a and b that means we should plant an a nutrient in the in this plot to use those a nutrients as you can see once we planted that that nutrient level dipped down a bit because that plant is now using those nutrients and we're going to continue to do this with the rest of our crops now I harvested and replanted all of our crops, and then during the night, I killed some zombies to gather some experience and their item drops, and then headed out in the morning. Right guys, so we've just started exploring, Lit literally we're just over from our base, um, that's basically where our base is, <laughs> on our death point. Um, and we've come across these boats here, but by the looks of it, they're filled with uh, mobs and uh, it's no... Ooh! Yeah, don't want to be going into these just yet without any, uh, well, any proper armor on and really no proper weapons. Um, so, uh, I'm just going to hang out here for the moment until morning rises and then we're going to be carrying on with our journey. Ooh! So we had an explosion go off in this, uh, ooh, that's one, uh, very powerful mob up there. Um, there's a spawner in the front of those ships and some, uh, chest where we got some of this stuff. Um, gonna have to come back for some of that, see what we can find. Try and see if we can get any of the, uh, stuff that went, uh, sunk down to the bottom, um, Apparently a piece of coal. Oh. Oh. I think these red these red caps um, can drop coal sometimes, so you might want to try and farm those guys. Um, apparently, with uh, they have some some of them have uh, explosive abilities though, so you might want to watch that. Anyway, I'm going to continue adventuring and see what I can find. We found copper, guys. It's very... Oh my god, that is so cool. Right. We can now start creating some... Oh, Cooper. <laughs> I think copper. Um, start working on towards getting some proper tools. Um, and... Uh, 
and really take off in this mod pack. We're going to carry on adventuring, see if we can find some more. Um, yeah, this is a big step forward, guys. Oh, so we've come across an exposed door. Um, by the looks of the nugget, it's uh, looks like it's probably magnet, yeah, magnetite, so an iron, um, iron deposit. Um, don't really have any way of getting down there without really hurting ourselves. Um, there's no easy way down by the looks of it, but we'll just have to uh, see if we can find one. Right, so we're just going to dig down here. Um, yes, it's uh, rich magnetite. Oh, that's good. So this is, oh, lots of nice iron. Big vein as well. Um, so you can mark this mark this off and then carry on. Oh, we've come across this house. I'm going to see if we can find anything of use inside. So I'll support steam tanks. Um, tool racks. Uh, get an axe to harvest these up. Oh, a bunch of barrels. These can these will be useful. Oh, one escaped outside. Quartz slab. Actually, I'm going to grab these supports as well. Don't have a pickaxe yet, but we can now with the copper. Uh, come back and get these uh, steam tanks. Oak planks floor. Might come back and grab grab these for building our own house up a little bit. So what we can do is instead of having this vessel, which is actually already empty, but it has nine slots, we can use this, which has twelve slots. Um, put some of this stuff away. See what this chest has got for us. Oh, some creosote oil, exploding house, and some rice seeds. That also gives us a chest. Oh, got some company. Um, Ooh. I'll close this door when there's most hardly even a wall there. Let's see if we can climb up somewhere. Ooh. All right, so we're safe for the moment. Um, <laughs> just gonna <laughs> hang out here on the side of the building for. A while and uh, we'll be back in a bit. Right, so we've gone back from our travels. We've got two reward, reward bags here, a good one and a basic one. So we're going to pop these open. Some food, never argue with that. Now the good one, <laughs> it's just some more food. Okay, um, that's currently our chest full of um, food. <laughs> um, we uh, haven't got any any uh, real space for a lot of this stuff. Um, we've got I've got a plan for that, um, and uh, found another one of these law books. Um, probably not useful to have more than one. Um, got some other stuff, assortment of things. Um, got a rope which is really useful for um, taking care of animals. Um, oh, 
four, four full stacks of sticks. Um, got some feathers as well from killing some pheasants. Um, and most importantly, we've got this leather water sack, um, which is currently filled with uh, fresh water. This is a really good thing because it can hold a absolute bunch of water. Um, and as you can see, um, it has a, a durability of um, water rather than just a single uh, swig. Um, got all of our crops growing down here. Looks like our tom um, tomatoes and peppers are almost ready. As I said, we've got a chest full of food, nowhere to put it. Um, so we're going to have to solve that problem pretty soon. Um, but at least now we have, um, in here, we have copper, um, which means we can start making some proper tools. So we'll be doing that next episode. Thanks for everybody for watching. Um, have a good day. Bye bye.